pawpaw growers are finding we just have to be prepared for more extreme weather events. Last year we were hit with late spring freezes. This year we were hit by the drought. So even though we were seeing kind of a bumper crop of pawpaws, the harvest time frame was accelerated much faster than what any of us had expected. Last year, my first fruit ripened on September 15th. This year, it ripened six weeks earlier, and I was completely caught by surprise. I had walked into the orchard to do my regular irrigation, and the smell of the fruit just hit me. And so when a pawpaw is ripe, it gives off this very sweet, fruity aroma, and it felt like I was in the twilight zone because I knew that something was off. Yeah, here we have a small fruit cluster and it's definitely ripe. By this year, we've definitely noticed that the fruit has been smaller. I'm picking up a bitter aftertaste on some of the cultivars that should have a really, you know, strong flavor profile. A lot of people in Appalachia have relied on pawpaws to supplement their diets. I know if you go back in history, when you think about African Americans and the early foragers, they also relied on pawpaws. And we know that a lot of the superior plants that we find here spread throughout the Mid Midwest most likely um, our direct contribution from our Native American ancestors so we owe a lot to them.